If you need to edit your PDF, you may try Small PDF, which is an online tool. It has a really nice, clean interface. However, overall, I found it better as an annotator. The free option, the free tools, are primarily for annotating your PDF. If you want to edit more the underlying text or elements, you have to use the pro version and you can try it for seven days for free and then you upgrade it for like nine dollars to the pro version. However, even with that version, a lot of the things were not able to be edited in my PDF. Now the way to get to the tool, you go to small PDF and then under tools, it's PDF editor. And then it will ask you to upload and you don't have to create an account when you're just using the free version. So I just dragged my PDF there. And at the very top, you have some options, like export it, share and print. And on the left, you have thumbnails of your pages. You can see it or not. At the very top, you have these three options, edit, mark, and organize. Markup, that's the free version. This is where you can do a lot of the annotations to your PDF. I like at the very bottom, this option of fit to width, fit to page, which was really kind of cool. And if you want to add the text, you click at the top, add text box, and then you can start typing. And you will have the different options for the text, like bold, size, and so on show up, and color, and you can change it and modify it. And you can customize the color as well. Then you can also reposition the text and align it left, center, or right, as well as you can change the alignment vertical not just horizontally. And then if you resize the box, the chain, the text doesn't resize. It's just the text box that's resized. It. Now you can duplicate and you can align them, but you don't have any guides and nothing is really showing you, no rulers, if they're aligned correctly. And you can highlight text by clicking the highlight text option at the top and then changing the opacity depending how dark you want the color. You can also use the pencil, which is kind of like you can drag over text or sections that you want to emphasize, and then you can change opacity colors and the basics. Now, after you can also use this marker option, which is kind of like a highlighter. And then if you wanted to remove anything, you have to actually use this eraser tool. So there's no option like removing by delete on selecting the annotations. And some of the highlight I was not able to remove. So I'm not sure if there's another way to do it. And then if you want to you can add borders to your sections, changing opacity, border width and stuff. And a little bit, some of the stuff was delayed. Like you can see, I'm dragging the size of the border. And then after I let go, that's when the change takes place. Now you can also insert images by clicking the image and then resizing it, re repositioning it, rotating. And also another cool option was that actually you can change opacity so you can make it maybe underneath certain sections. So that would be a cool thing that you can add to your PDF. Now I could not remove anything or change anything in my PDF. I have to go to the edit version. I can organize my pages if I click on that and then add a new page, delete a page and move it easily. And I can also insert blank pages in between and I'm able to split my document if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to cancel for now and confirm. I can also extract pages from my PDF, just fine. But if I go edit, nothing happens because I have to go pro. It shows me what I could do. So it tells me for seven days, it can be free trial. So, okay, fine. I'm going to sign up. And what's one thing here right away, you can see that it is asking me to put my credit card. It's saying seven days free, but then you'll be charged. So you won't get the seven days free until you put your credit card. So I don't like that, but I did that just to show this in the video how it works. And so then I'm going to my pro version options and I'm thinking, okay, well, let me check my account. And then I went to my plan, just double check that I'm have, I can cancel the subscription. So, but then I lost my document. So it didn't save the, the document that I was working on. And so I had to upload it one more time. So I didn't like that especially if I did a lot of work, I didn't like that option. They didn't even save whatever I was working on. And then once I open the document, now I'm going to use the pro tools and see how good they are. If I click on the edit at the top, I see that boxes show up, oh, but this was really cumbersome. I could not make some changes. Like I was trying to move things and adjust things. A lot of things were happening, but it kind of was a delay a bit. 
So once I did something and I thought it was not working and I let go, it made the change. So then I kept going back. So it was kind of a bit clunky. Now, whenever I clicked on a text, it would just become a plain text. So it lost the font. And then when I let go of it, then it would show up the font that was in. So it was just kind of not working very well. And even like editing the text, I keep clicking and the option would disappear. And I'm trying to change the, the size and I don't see the size being changed. So I just, I didn't like it. Like it was just not intuitive and not working fast, really. I tried to align my tax boxes and I was able to do it. But again, there is really no ruler, no guide. Now for wide out, there's really no option. You can maybe edit and remove the text. You can put a rectangle, like a white rectangle over it by changing the borders color to non and then doing it white. And then the same thing with redactment. You can either maybe remove the text or put a black box rectangle over it. So really not a white out, not redactation. And then if I wanted to edit link, I could not do it. I tried to add links, then the text editor would show up, but there was no option. And again, the text could change. I could remove the images at this point. So I can just click delete. And I was excited because I was almost going to be able to remove this watermark and I was able to reposition it and I click delete and nothing happened. The, the watermark still stayed. So, and I was really trying very hard to figure out why was watermark still there. If you go to forms, now you can change some of the text, but the check boxes or anything like that, I was not able to do it. Like there's an option I'll show you later on where there's a check mark you can insert, but nothing else. I mean, all, all I can do is probably use a pencil or the marker to just write it. For signatures, I have to go to confirm and go to another place. And now I can say, add my signature. You can just write it out and you can change the color and stuff like that. So, and I can also do a type signature. So I can just type and then just use different style and different font. And once I like it, it's on the right. And now I have to drag it where I want to position it and then I can still edit it and resize it. Now you can, this is where the checkboxes are. So you can add checkbox in some of the fields, but that's it. Nothing else. There's no like radio buttons. There's no access. And then you can put a date. Oh, you can also add text field. And once you're done, click finish sign. And it was actually processing a bit. Like this is a speed up version of this. And so it was like processing forever. Once it was complete, I could click download and open the PDF. There was no watermark from small PDF, which was great. When I went to documents in my account, now I could see the file. So thanks so much for watching.